So Sam, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I think you are one of the first uh, people we have today, interviewing today, um, who is actually from a financial, uh, sort of more financially related startup yeah. rather than just tech itself. Sure. Could you tell us, tell me a little bit about um, your startup and what you do? Yeah, so my startup, uh, the name of the startup is Funnel. Uh -huh. It's an investment crowdfunding platform. Uh, basically, we're trying to bring investment banking online, mm -hmm. essentially for entrepreneurs, for private companies. Raising funds has been very difficult mm -hmm. because it's been a illiquid market. Not a lot of people have access to venture capital, mm -hmm. angel investors. We're trying to democratize the whole process by bringing investment and financing online. Mm -hmm. And what are the biggest challenges you face so far? Are there actually any legal hurdles you have to overcome in Hong there Kong are. to do something there like that? There are. So we are actually an Asian-based platform. Mm -hmm. So our presence in Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Oh, quite as international. Well. Yes, that's right. So in Hong Kong itself, retail investors still cannot invest in an equity mm -hmm. of a private company. But then a professional investors, meaning they have a high net worth individuals mm -hmm. or their institutional investors, they can actually do so. Mm -hmm. But then uh, in other jurisdictions, they are uh, a little bit faster than Hong Kong itself. I see. Yeah. Okay. And um, so I'm very interested in how you moved from, you said you used to work at JP Morgan and then you started your own thing. Yeah. Um, was that, you know, mm -hmm. were, were you uh, nervous about making that jump from, you know, um, stable job to to startup yeah. entrepreneur. What were what were some of the difficulties you faced so there? When I was in JP Morgan, I'm very passionate to bring more capital uh -huh. to to public companies. Essentially, it could be an equity market, it could be a debt market. Essentially, what it means is that when a public company wants to raise funds for the growth. Mm -hmm. They will ask JP Morgan or other investment bank to see what are the financial solutions. Uh -huh. Decade low interest rate environment makes it too easy for company to actually get funding. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking there will be a lot more opportunities for private companies to do so. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right, it is a nervous decision. It's yeah. a very exciting decision, but we love it so far. But so, so, so far and with Fundno, what kind of private companies have yeah. gotten the most interest? What industries are these private I companies I think uh, I see two industries so mm -hmm. far that are more, I guess, uh, more suitable for crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. One is technology industry. People are excited about it. People do not know the cash flow, but people believe in the dream. Mm -hmm. uh, and another set of companies actually brick and mortar, consumer and retail companies. People can see the cash flow uh -huh. and they would like to see how it grows as well. Uh, for example, we just did a deal. It's, um, it's in the F&B industry actually. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 22 investors investing, in, invested about 8 million Hong Kong dollars for uh, I guess a, a couple of lunches in Hong Kong, uh -huh. uh, in central of Lang Fong. Wow, okay. It's a lot of money. Um, so. You mentioned you are operating from different countries. That's right. So, which you know, how does Hong Kong compare in terms of like the startup environment and yeah. the entrepreneurship ecosystem? How does Hong Kong compare to Indonesia and Singapore and on those other other countries? Do you think that Hong Kong is the leader in this in this field, and can it be if it's not? I think Hong Kong can be the leader uh, in 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 the, in Asia in general. I think there are a lot of opportunities in Hong Kong uh, for Hong Kong people to actually tap into, mm -hmm. uh, for be it internet, be it the the, the first step of uh, like uh, outside external parties to go into Greater China. Uh -huh. That is actually a very good opportunity. I think Hong Kong in general can do a little bit more to stimulate innovation itself. Uh, I. I think a lot of uh, innovation right now is driven from the states. I think uh, as a lot of people have uh, uh, in, the, in the forum has mentioned, mm -hmm. but I think I am looking to see more of that in Hong Kong as well, particularly in the fintech area. Mm -hmm. When I say fintech area, it's the financial technologies. Uh -huh. So be it e e uh, electronic payment, be it the crowdfunding, yeah. be it Bitcoin. So I think I, I would like to see more of that soon. I see. And finally, you know, you mentioned Greater China. So with Funnel, do you have some, uh, uh, you know, plans or strategies where which you'd like to yeah. take to, to Right now we are in Hong China? Kong, but then we would love to go into China some days. Yeah. We have wide assets in China for, for its investor assets, mm -hmm. particularly for venture capital, for the angel investors, uh -huh. but then we have not been able to tap into the entrepreneurs in China as yet, uh -huh. but we would like to do so when the regulations release itself. Okay, well, yeah. I, I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank and you thank very you much. Thank you so much for talking thank you, with thank me. You. Thanks thank so you. much, Sam.